Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today we discuss one of the most underrated colors in menswear, green. Not only is green a very versatile color, but it can also be dressed up and down, and it can really help you to develop a signature style that stands out from the rest of the crowd who favors city grays and blues. Personally, I'm a huge fan of green, but it wasn't always like that. I had to get to know the color and learn its versatility and the abilities it gave me. So what do I mean when I say green? Most men have a tendency to overgeneralize colors and just say red, blue, gray, or green. If you take a look here, there's lots of different greens. You have this more like of an emerald green, there's olive greens, there's medium greens, you can also have light greens, and all kinds of different shades, including forest green, British racing green, mild olive green, and whatever you want. Green is such a versatile color, and I think that one term isn't even enough or sufficient to describe the full range of colors. When you're new to green, the big question is, how do you wear green so it flatters you? First up, I think it's really helpful to have a green suit or at least a green jacket, just like the one I'm wearing here right now. It's part of a suit, but I can wear it separately with other kind of corduroys or chinos or even seersuckers. Olive is a kind of green that has some brown tones and sometimes yellow tones, and this one here too has a mottled yarn, which means it has more color depth and it really helps you to combine it with other colors. For that reason, it's a first great choice. The same is true for a fresco jacket, which is also modeled, and it's a great summer suit because it has a lighter, springy, summery color, but it has an open weave and cools me down, and it's also not too dark, so the sun doesn't heat me up overly, like a black suit or a black jacket would. In terms of fabrics, you can wear green with a worsted, with a flannel, with frescoes, or even seersucker. And it's a broad color range, and you don't have to shy away from anything. Of course, the darker the green is, the more formal is it, and it could be a good substitute for a dark brown suit, because it has the same level of formality, so it's not overly formal, but definitely more formal than a sport coat combination. The other wardrobe element that looks really good in green is pants, particularly corduroy pants or moleskin pants. They're perfect for cold fall winter days and I just like them because they're different and I can combine them in an interesting way, for example with brown jackets and I don't have to wear a brown or a blue pair of corduroys. This is a quite dark olive green, so most people wouldn't necessarily recognize it as such in the evenings. You can also go with lighter shades or brighter shades, but typically those are things you'd wear in the summer or in the spring, so having a pair of bright green chinos, for example, or a light green and white seersucker. These tones are much better suited for spring-summer climates or warmer climates in general. The other element you can invest in is vests. I have a green vest that matches this suit, which I can wear individually or in accordance with the suit. I also have a really beautiful dark bottle green vest in velvet, which is double-breasted. I love wearing it because it really keeps me warm and it's different than all the other vests you see out there. Bottle green velvet is also a really popular material for dinner jackets, and you can see Fabio here wearing one of those. To learn more about dinner jackets and all the other options you have and how to wear them right, please check out this video here. Another area where green is hardly ever seen is dress shirts. I really like it. This shirt, for example, would go well with a madras tie and a brown suit. You could also wear it with a blue suit or even a gray suit, especially during the summer. This shade of green is very summery, springy. If you get something darker, like olive green, maybe with a pale white and ivory stripe, it's much better for winter. Of course, you can also wear green shoes. Sometimes people go with a darker kind of green or an olive green. I think both can be very versatile. Probably the olive green is even more versatile than the regular green. If you wear belts, make sure to get the matching belt, that way you get a harmonious look and it's overall well-rounded. While you can't find regular box calf leather shoes in green, I personally prefer suede because it underlines the more casual character of the color and as a tassel loafer, 
it's really great for summer outfits. That being said, you could also think about getting a dark green, maybe racing green boot for the winter. It would be very unusual, maybe in a scotch grain. The darker you go with your green, the more formal it is. So especially in the evenings, most people wouldn't even recognize that it's not a black shoe or a very dark brown shoe. At the same time, you can combine it more with casual outfits that you couldn't wear with a black shoe, for example. Personally, one of my favorite elements to wear green is socks because you can use it as a contrasting color, for example, when you wear chinos with brown shoes or you can get two-tone socks and pair them with green and purple and just have interesting outfits either with corduroy pants or other winter trousers. Of course, lighter greens are better for summer and the sky is the limit here. Last but not least, think about a pinky ring in green, maybe in malachite or cufflinks or even a tie bar. They all really work together and it's a wonderful color. It provides contrast on your white or light blue or otherwise pastel colored dress shirt. As you can see, there are lots of items that you can wear in green. But when you're just starting out, I suggest to invest in accessories first, simply because they're easy to combine, it's not a huge investment, and you can find exactly the right of shade of green that works for you and your existing wardrobe. If you live in a warmer climate, you can go with a bright shanton green or with a barrette houndstooth silk, either a bow tie or tie, if you're more in a colder climate, maybe a darker olive green or something in a wool grenadine would work better for you. Apart from ties and bow ties, a perfect place to start is a pocket square because it's rather affordable and it has a number of different colors, especially when it's printed. So you can pick up different colors such as red or yellow or purple or green and just create a really interesting, unusual look without having to invest too much up front. Green contrasts beautifully with all traditional jacket colors such as gray or navy, but it's not too stark, so it's a subtle, sophisticated contrast. And I'm sure once you invest in one pocket square, more accessories will follow. Now, green should always just be one color in your outfit, and your entire outfit shouldn't be just green because that would look odd. So the big question is, what colors work well with green? In my opinion, one of the easiest colors to combine is blue. Whether it's navy blue, mid blue, or even light blue, green really goes well together with it because green is a little more warmer, blue is a cooler tone, green is a warmer tone, and together they harmonize and work perfectly. For example, look at this green Mettersilk tie with orange and blue Macclesfield needs pattern. It looks very elegant, doesn't it? Let's say you have a navy suit or a navy blazer, a green accessory, just works really well and harmonizes perfectly and you can wear all of your existing white and blue shirts that you have in your wardrobe already. If you like more texture, think about a green grenadine tie or maybe a green knit tie in bottle green or maybe two-tone with blue. I like the combination of green and blue so much that I even designed a tie with those two colors. You can find this tie as well as all the other green accessories in our shop here. The second big color that you can combine with green is brown. I particularly like dark chocolate brown, but also lighter browns work really well with it. We have this beautiful Fort Belvedere Shanton brown tie with green stripes, and I love to wear it with a blue jacket. Unlike blue, brown is also a warmer color, and today they make the perfect combination for casual outfits. Something I really like to wear with this green jacket is a brown pair of corduroys. It really creates a warm, country-inspired look, especially when paired with a pair of tan Gucci welded double sole boots. You might be surprised about the third color, which is gray and another traditional business color that works really well with green. Just take a look for yourself at his beautiful gray and green wool grenadine tie. And it's a very harmonious look that provides enough contrast, no matter if you wear a brown jacket or a blue one or even a gray one. Although personally, I'd probably stay away from that because the grays may be too similar. Two great outfit combinations are a green tie with a gray flannel suit or a green maybe knit tie with a gray tweed jacket. Personally, my favorite color to combine with green is orange because it's likewise warm. And here you can see the orange and green striped Shantung tie, which goes really well with my jacket. Whether it's an orange pocket square or an orange knit tie or an orange grenadine, no matter what color, green and orange will always work. They're unusual and I have even jackets that have an overcheck or sometimes I wear an orange vest with a green tweed jacket because it's just beautiful, unusual and sophisticated. In the same vein, yellow pairs really well. I like to wear yellow neckwear because yellow jackets really don't look good. 
but as accessories, they really harmonize perfectly with dark green as well as light green. Another color that I'm really fond of is purple. It's not a very popular color in countries like Italy, whereas in Britain, it's quite popular with office workers and bankers. Personally, I believe that green and purple together are both dark and they harmonize really well and create a nice range of contrast that's not ostentatious or over the top. If you want to create a signature style that is truly unique, implementing those two colors in your wardrobe will really help you to achieve that. Last but not least, a really important color to combine with green is red. As you know, red is one of the most popular accessory colors and every man should have a red tie or pocket square in his wardrobe. You may think it can look like a Christmas combination, but the key is to go with very dark shades, such as in this tweed sport coat with green and purple herringbone tones, or to have another color such as light blue to get away from that Christmas feel. Chances are you already have quite a few red items in your wardrobe, so adding a green jacket allows you to even utilize those accessories more. That way you get a lot of mileage out of what you already have without having to invest more money. Now, red doesn't have to be the dominant color. It can be an accent color in your jacket, such as the over jacket in your clan plaid, or just part of the clan plaid, or your pocket square or boutonniere. Now that you've gotten a lot of inspiration about how to wear green and how to combine it with different colors, one of the most important aspects to keep in mind is that you simply have to try it. There's no way around it, and not every combination will be perfect, but the more often you try, the better you'll look. Don't be intimidated. Green is a very versatile color, and if you don't know where to start, go with blue and combine that with green, it will look great. Now go have fun experimenting, and if you're in need of some green accessories, please head over to our shop here where we have cufflinks, accessories, pocket squares, ties, bow ties, and even beautiful gloves. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, sign up for a newsletter, which is free, and you get videos like this right to your inbox. <laughs>